So, I'm going to do a super fast presentation on how uh, curve calculators work. So, to start off, this is not how they work. There is not a curve path, of, they are not calculating this curve path of light around the globe. No, they're not. What they're doing is they're expanding this globe, flattening it, and then calculating as if there's uh, straight rays of light. And I'm going to demonstrate this real easy. So I'm going to use this example, uh, the example of the world long distance photograph. Um, it is 443 kilometers from peak Venestral to peak Gaspard. Um, the viewer height is 2,880 meters. So if you notice here, this says effective radius. What does this mean? This effective radius means they multiply this value, so-called actual radius, begging the question, radius because this is the thing they're trying to prove. They assume what they're trying to prove and say that's it's proven. Anyhow, so if they take this actual radius, multiply it by 7, 6R, this made up value, literally made up, because um, in the literature, the value is actually, uh, this value is actually, this is 0. 0.66 if you turn it to decimal. The actual value quoted in the literature is 0. Uh, 0.13. So this is even wrong. And even the 0. 0.13 is wrong. That's for another video. So multiply this 6371 times 76 and they get this value, 7,432. That's what Nick West used, the exact number. So I made it geometric structure to bear this out, that they are simply blowing it up and using straight rays. Okay, so here we have this enlarged radius Earth, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare and use the identical numbers as this. I'm going to use straight race, and then I'm going to compare these values, this hidden in this horizon. I mean, if I wanted, I could also do these, but there's no point because it would just come out the same. It's redundant. So, so 2.88 over here, 2.880. Get this distance. Four four three kilometers, four four three kilometers. All right. Do is find where the horizon is. The horizon is going to be uh, this point of intersection of this tangent line. Okay. And then this line continues on, and then once it reaches the distance, this four four three distance, it measures where this tangent line intersects the 443 line and it measures this distance. But we're gonna start with the horizon. So these, this is my tangent line. I'm gonna click here. So there's a point of intersection 206. Check out the number, 206, right? That's right so far, it's straight using a straight line. Let's go over here. Still a straight line. So C and B is a distance from C to B. 3.7. Let's look at the curve calculator. Wow, 3.7. Just so everybody knows, the way the curve calculator works is to take their so-called radius flatten the earth to get whatever value they want. Um, you see something that's way over here? They'll just say there's super refraction and the earth is even flatter. They will just increase the sphere and make what is called a post-diction. They're not making predictions, they're making post-diction. 